guys, you ready to find out what happens to Cyrano and Chris John in this passage here and these scenes? All right, so when we left off, remember, Roxanne was leaving to go across the street. Her, uh, She and the duena were leaving to go to a friend's house. De Guiche had just left thinking that Roxanne was in love with him and agreeing to marry him when he would come back later that evening, right? And so Cyrano comes and he asks Roxanne, hey, because um, remember Roxanne said, hey, when Christian comes, tell him to wait for me. So Sarah and I was like, oh, okay, well, what do you, you know, what do you think you guys are going to talk about tonight? And she's like, about, um, I don't, about nothing, about everything, about love. And I'll tell him to speak to me about love in his own words, to improvise and rhapsodize about love and be eloquent. So I was like, okay, good. Because he wants to get an idea of what she wants to talk about, right? So he can give Christian the words to say. So she's like, shh, shh, don't say anything. Don't say anything. And so she goes across the street and then Cyrano's like, okay, well then Christian comes and he's like, Christian, come here. I have your theme. Like, I know what she wants to talk about tonight. So come over here quickly. We don't have a lot of time. Let me give you your lines, what you're going to say tonight. And Christian, this time he says, no, nah, no. And Cyrano's like, what, what are you talking about? Come on, we got to hurry. Let me give you your lines so that you know what you're going to say. And Christian's like, you know what? I don't think so. Um, I've had enough of, of taking my words and my letters, everything I'm going to say all from you. And you're just kind of making this a little comedy, making our love a little comedy. And it, it was a game at first, but now, you know, I'm good. I, I got this. Uh, she loves me now and I'm good. I can handle it from here. And Cyril was like, oh, okay, undoubtedly. Sure. And Chris was like, what? Of course I can. You will see. You'll see that I can handle this. I'm not a fool. I can handle this by myself. And so Cyrano's like, all righty then. Go ahead. Speak for yourself. So Cyrano goes kind of around the corner into the darkness because he wants to watch and see what happens when Christian tries to do this on his own, right? So he goes out. So the door opens at the neighbor's house. Roxanne comes out. She and her duena make their way back to their home. And Roxanne sees Christian. Oh, Christian, is that you? Let's sit out here in the twilight. It's so beautiful. So they go and sit on the bench outside the house. And she's like, okay, start to speak of me. Tell me things. And so Christian is quiet for a minute. And he's thinking, he's like, I love you. And so Roxanne's like, yes. Okay, speak to me about love. And he's like, I love you. And she's like, yes, now be eloquent. And he's like, I love. She's like, okay, okay, you've got your theme now. Now, now be eloquent and rhapsodize. And so he's like, uh, I love you so. And she's like, of course. But, and then, and then. I should be so happy if you love me too. Oh, Roxanne, say that you love me too. She makes a face at him like, what are you, what are you doing? I want you to, to, to be more creative, right? So she's like, tell me first a little how you love me. And he's thinking, he says, uh, very much. She's like, oh, come on, tell me, how do you feel? And he comes near to her and he's like, you, your hand, if I could just um, kiss it. And so she's like, Christian. And he's like, I love you so. And she acts like she's going to stand up, like she's getting sick of it. She's like, again, like you can't think of anything more creative to say. You just keep saying, I love you and I love you so. And so he's like, no, 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 not again. I, I, I do not love you. I adore you. And so she gets up and moves away from him now because he's still not saying anything creative or beautiful or poetic. And so he's like, oh, come on. I know, I know I grow absurd. And notice what she says. She said, yes, that displeases me as much as if you had grown ugly. So we see again that shallowness of her, right? It, because if he were ugly, she wouldn't love him. And because he's not coming up with poetic, creative, beautiful, flattering things. She is getting upset with him. And so she's like, come on, gather your dreams into words. And again, he says, I love, she's like, I know, I know you love me. Goodbye. And so she goes into her house. She's like, no. And he says, no, wait, please, please let me, let me tell you I was going to say, she's like, yeah, I know that you adore me. 
I know that too. No, no, go away. And she shuts the door in his face. And he's standing there kind of like, I, I, and then Cyrano comes out from the dark and is, oh, great job, a great success. You know, being all sarcastic with him because he thought he didn't need his help. And so Christian's like, help me, Cyrano, help me. And you'll have to read the next couple scenes to find out what happens. Do you think Cyrano agrees to help Christian? Or do you think he says, too bad, buddy, you're on your own because you thought you could handle it. So for tomorrow, you're going to read pages 437 to 446, the next few pages, and see what happens.